In this screencast, we are going to look at uh, calculating utility maximization, and then after doing that problem, figuring out what the consumer surplus is for that utility maximization problem. Um, most utility maximization type of problems give you some form of a chart. In this case here, we have two goods. We have pop and hot dogs. And in this chart here, you can see the quantities that they're consuming, the price that it's being sold at for each of them, and then the marginal utilities that go along with it. Um, this income restraint or the budget restraint is how much a person um, has to spend. And so to maximize utility, how many units of pop and hot dogs should be consumed? Uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to that formula. Uh, marginal utility per dollar of pop needs to equal the marginal utility per dollar of the hot dog. Whenever you see a chart like this, you always want to add on the columns here for marginal utility per dollar because you're going to need those in order to be able to answer any questions. And so that's what's been done here is that you have this now column for marginal utility per dollar pop and marginal utility per dollar of hot dog. Um, you might want to stop the screencast for a minute so that way then you can fill in your chart. Once you have your chart filled in, you can see that the marginal utility per dollars of pop, because they're divided by one, are going to be the same as the original marginal utilities of pop. Um, the marginal utility per dollar of hot dog, uh, for the first quantity, you have 12 for the marginal utility, divided by the price of three, and that is going to give you a marginal utility per dollar of four. Um, nine divided by three for the second unit is going to give you a marginal utility per dollar of three. So once you've figured out your marginal utilities, you need to figure, um, see which ones satisfy the marginal utility per dollars equaling one another. What I do is I always look at the highest marginal utility per dollar um, and start from there. In this case here, six is the highest one. If I look over here on the hot dog side, there is not a six. Um, notice that they go down in number because of diminishing marginal utility. Um, and so with that, um, then I can't satisfy that formula, so I'm going to jump to the fours. Um, if I look here at the fours, uh, for a hot dog, you have a quantity of one of the hot dog, and you have two of the pop. So in order to figure out how much money I have to spend, price times quantity of each of them. So two of the pops times $1.00 plus uh, one of the hot dog times three dollars is going to have you spending five dollars. So while I've satisfied this formula, I have not spent all of the money. So I need to look at the next combination to see if both can be met. When you look at the next one, your next number is three of marginal utility per dollar. You have uh, two of the hot dogs and you have three of the pops. So three pops times a dollar plus two of the hot dogs times three dollars, that is going to satisfy not only the formula here of the marginal utility per dollar equaling one another, but also spending all of your money. So in order to maximize utility, you want to have three of the pops and two of the hot dogs. So after you have a problem like that, you know, you could take it a step further and now you can apply it with consumer surplus. Consumer surplus, um, as we define it, is the benefit one receives for participating in the market. You're willing and able to pay a higher price, but you don't have to because the equilibrium price is lower. And so that's your consumer surplus. Um, below the demand curve, above equilibrium, is how we can find it. If you look at this here, when you're thinking about... Um, the demand curve, remember that one of the reasons why the demand curve looks like it does is because of diminishing marginal utility. And so when we've always been calculating, you can calculate consumer surplus with the demand curve, you can also do it when we talk about marginal utility because they mean the same thing. Demand equals marginal utility. I mean, if I wanted over here, I could change the price and change that to marginal utility per dollar. And that could be a way I could label that. So both of these graphs are the same. Um, and you can use them in order to calculate the consumer surplus. This box down here below it is the total cost that you have, the price that it's being sold at times the quantity that you buy it at. And so these are all things that will come into play when we're figuring out the consumer surplus for your utility maximization problem. So this is the same problem here, the three pops and the two hot dogs. Now, we've talked before about consumer surplus and how to calculate it, and we should know that formula for a triangle. 
which is one half base times height. But I want you to think of a different formula here when we talk about utility maximization problems. So for, for solving for consumer surplus, you can also solve it using total benefit or total utility minus total cost. And so what we need to do is we need to, for each of these goods, calculate the total benefit or the total utility. Um, when we look at a chart, uh, this one here is already giving you the marginals, so you didn't have to go from total to marginal. Because remember, total utility, you can find marginal by looking at the change in the total utility. Well, just kind of work backwards on that one. To find total utility from marginal, you need to add up the marginals of those that lead up to that unit. So in this case here, they're consuming three of the pops. So the total utility or total benefit of consuming three units of pop is the six plus the four plus the three. So you have a total benefit or total utility of 13. For the hot dogs, they're consuming two units. Now remember, you look at marginal utility. You don't look at um, marginal utility per dollar. And so the total utility or the total benefit of consuming the hot dogs is 12 plus 9 which gives you 21. And so when we look at the total benefit of consuming these two products, we come up with a total benefit here of 34. So you plug it into that formula that we have, and now we need to figure out the total cost. So in order to figure out total cost, as we saw here, is price times quantity. Um, when we look at the total cost for the pop, they're buying three units, and they're each being sold at a dollar a piece. And so the total cost of pop is $3. For the hot dogs, they're buying two, and those are being sold at $3 each. And so the total cost for the hot dogs is two, quantity of two, times the price of three, which gives you six. So now I need to take the total cost, and I need to plug that into the formula. And so when we look at three plus six here is nine, in order to figure out total cost, you've got the $9. So consumer surplus is that total benefit or total utility minus total cost. So 34, we figured out by adding the total benefits here together, minus this total cost that we just came up with of 9. And so the consumer surplus, when you're maximizing utility for the hot dogs and the pop, is 25.